so hello everyone so in this uh, session we will see forces acting on a spur gears force analysis of uh, uh, forces acting on the spur gear pair okay so let us assume here uh, one gear and pinion is there so this is your driving pinion and we will uh, uh, look here driven gear so now a driving pinion means what if a, uh, it is a driving member and it is a driven member okay so when a driving member uh, your prime mover or your ic engine uh like your electric motor everything whichever is a prime mover which is connected on this uh, pinion and this pinion is transmitting power to the gear okay so uh, let us say uh, this pinion is rotating in clockwise direction so the meshing gear will rotate in anti clockwise direction okay. now when uh, pinion is rotating as the pinion is connected with the prime mover so when pinion will uh, will rotate the gear will rotate okay and pinion will exert a force on the gear to rotate it in anti clockwise direction okay. so if we see here this is your uh, this is the normal uh, force or you can call it as a resultant force acting on the pinion and gear so both uh, here the force will be uh, this pn will be the force which is acting on gear uh, by pinion and this pn is nothing but the force acting uh, by the gear on pinion to stop the pinion okay so here pinion will try to rotate the gear and gear will try to stop the pinion for example if we see an example of a, a bike so your tire will try to stop the engine and engine will try to rotate the tire like that okay so both this force the uh, both the forces will be equal and opposite okay so here if we see uh, this is your uh, force exerted by the pinion on gear and this is nothing but the force exerted by gear on pinion okay so here this angle will be pressure angle now you can call this as a normal tangent line so this force will act on uh, along the normal tangent line and this is the normal the uh, common normal okay so here common tangent and common normal is there so this uh, force uh, is acting along common tangent okay and uh, the angle between common uh, tangent and common normal is nothing but pressure angle alpha so here if we resolve this pn by in two components so this is your this is the tangential component and this is the radial component okay so this pn will be divided this resultant force will be divided in two components tangential and radial similarly on this uh, pinion also radial and tangential component now this tangential component is equal to this tangential component and this radial component is equal to this one this radial component because your alpha is same line of action of this pn is same Uh, so the forces acting on uh, gear and pinion are uh, resolved in two component so first component will be tangential force we will call this tangential force as pr sorry pt tangential force and second is radial force we will call this as pr okay. and resultant force resultant force we will denote as pn okay. so here two forces are there tangential and radial you see your tangential and radial two components are there now uh, from figure uh, you can see that the tangential component is uh, responsible to rotate the gear radial component will not uh, contribute in the rotation of the gear radial component will just uh, act towards the center of the gear and towards the center of the pinion Okay, so it is not contributing in the power transmission. Your power is transmitted by tangential component only. So radial component will not contribute in the power transmission. So if we uh, want to find tangential component, so from power you can calculate it. So we'll uh, see one by one. So first component we will see first tangential force. So tangential force is PT, and PT we can find from power because power is equal to force into velocity okay so from this your uh, the force will be uh, we will call p is equal to pt into v so from this we can write pt is equal to power by velocity now your power is uh, you can uh, use power is in watt or kilowatt uh, so normally power we will take in watts and uh, velocity is nothing but pitch line velocity in meter per second now velocity you can find from this 
formula velocity v is equal to pi dp np divided by 16 to 1000 or pi dg ng divided by 16 to 1000 okay, so by using any one formula you can calculate pitch line velocity so the pitch line velocity will be same for gear as well as pinion so from this formula you can find pitch line velocity uh, then after this uh, you can put this pitch line velocity in the formula of power by velocity you will get tangential force the second component is radial force and radial force is nothing but PR okay. so PR uh, we cannot find directly so we will use some trigonometric relation to find PR so let us take here this triangle PT and this PR and this pn okay so we will take that this triangle like uh, see here like this okay this is pt uh, this vertical distance from here to here is pr and this is pn and this angle is alpha okay so uh, from this you can see that uh, here uh, as we want pr in terms of pt so PR in terms of PT means we have to go for tan. Okay? So from this tan alpha is equal to opposite by adjacent. So PR by PT. So we will use this relation to find PR. PR is equal to what? PT into tan of alpha. So this radial component PR will become PT into tan of alpha. So if you have PT pt you will get from power by velocity put the value of pt here and alpha here you will get pr so this will be your uh, radial component then resultant force resultant force you can find uh, again pn is equal to under root pt square plus pr square so this is one formula and another formula if suppose you are using this triangle so you want pn so here pn is hypotenuse and uh, pt is adjacent side so you have to go for uh, cos of alpha so cos alpha is equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse so from this you can write here pn is equal to pt divided by cos of alpha so you can write here or pn is equal to pt by cos of alpha so whichever uh, you want you can use any one of these two formulas to find a resultant force okay, so these are the forces acting on is per gear pair okay, now we'll go for the numericals on this topic thank you